For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shots. Another the Mad Cheese, as always. Got a new type of video for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be going over... Uh, current gen plays or old gen plays I'm not really sure what you call it I personally feel like it's old gen at this point but I'm getting a lot of people in the comments and I'm pretty sure the entire community is about split maybe 50 50 between uh, old gen and next gen right now so I want to show you guys some differences between the two generation consoles as well as showing you how a lot of the plays that I've put out on next gen really work on old gen just as long as you do one very simple trick or maybe it's a cheat I don't really know what to call it but but ultimately, I'm going to show you guys how to make all the plays that I've been putting out work on old gen consoles with just one very simple trick. So if you guys want to see more videos like this geared towards uh, current gen or old gen, I'm not really sure what the term would be Woo! right now. Hit the like button let me know in the comment section uh, and really kill it because to be honest with you, I don't see a lot of reason to put time into the older gen based on the fact that when Christmas rolls around or when you know Black Friday rolls around, whatever, a lot of people are going to be moving on to next gen. It's kind of like painting the, uh, what they say, polishing the brass and the Titanic to put out content for old gen when that's going to just be the past pretty soon. So really hammer the like button or let me know in the comment section uh, for me to do more videos like this. It's going to take a lot of success from this video for me to come back here and keep doing this for now. But today I'm going to be showing you guys um, some plays out of the iForm Close, a very glitchy concept that only works in current gen. I've had a lot of people tell me that none of their one play touchdowns against cover three work. The PA tight end leak is gonna be a very good play for that. And you can really do that against just about any play in this formation. You can do this glitch that I'm gonna show you guys out of the wide post. You can do it out of the double out. But I'm gonna stick with the PA tight end leak because I already put out the PA tight end leak. I'm using the Ravens for a very specific purpose. I'm gonna show you guys uh, how to glitch out these defenses if you're still playing uh, current gen. So let's go and let's pick the PA tight end leak. On the other side, we're gonna pick um, the cover three sky because that's the defense I'm hearing people having the most issue with nothing really beats cover three on current gen uh, Outside of the glitch. I'm going to show you guys. So number one, you got to run this play from a hash mark Okay, that's gonna be one of the most important things you got to run from open hash mark to the open side of the field Number two, you have to have a mobile quarterback Which isn't typical and the reason for that is because pass leading on current gen from the pocket does not exist which most people don't know uh, there is no such thing as a pass lead for some reason they took that away in current gen I'm going to motion across the A route put them on a pass block I'm going to go out and block everybody block all my running backs this is all I really have to do then I'm going to slide my protection to the left I'm even going to go as far as to um, you know there's a lot of setup for this that's how hard it is to, to, to basically make this work I'm going to go as far as to double team this defensive end because I have to roll out. We'll go ahead and we'll show it from the pocket just to show you that it really does not work. Although it should. Nope. You know what I mean? That's the thing. Like you can see, he's getting passed and you can see it's still getting intercepted. He's still passing everything. I need a pass lead for this to work. And the only way it lets you pass lead in current gen, old gen, next, whatever, whatever you want to call it, is if you roll, if you roll outside the pocket. This is the only way Roll outside the pocket, set your feet. That's the only way that you can pass lead in current gen Madden 22. So I'll go ahead and I'll do that again just to show you guys this was not a fluke because I know people are in my comment section saying you cannot hit a one play touchdown against cover three. So there we go. We get outside the pocket, we set our feet, we get a very easy pass lead, the very easy one play touchdown. But why is it so difficult to do that? As you can see, I went to the replay before, and I showed you guys, there was no such thing as a pass lead. Inside the pocket, there is no such thing as a pass lead. Where this play is an easy one play touchdown if I could just pass lead from inside the pocket. I can't do that, so I have to run outside the pocket. I guess you really have to get like five to 10 yards away from the hash marks because I, it wasn't working the closer that I was to the hash marks. I threw it from here and I had no pass lead. You really have to get way outside the pocket 
before that pass lead to work, and now for some reason, it lets me pass lead again, which is total nonsense. This is something that they removed from Madden 22 current gen. For what reason, I don't know, because I'm going to go back to Madden 21 and show you that you could pass lead from inside the pocket in Madden 21. So now we're going back to Madden 21 current gen, which is Xbox One, which is what I'm on. Madden 21, copy and paste, exact same thing. Only they removed one very important feature, which is the ability to pass lead, which is why nobody can hit a one play touchdown. So we're going right back to the I form close. We're gonna go right back to the PA tight end leak. And then on the defensive side, I mean, this game looks exactly the same. Everybody knows it's the same. We're gonna, we're gonna drop back, run it from the hash mark again. Exact same setup. So we're the exact same everything right now, only we're in Madden 21. We're going to do the exact same setup. I don't have to do the tight end, by the way, because now you're going to see that I can pass lead from inside the pocket without any of that ridiculous nonsense that you have to do now to hit a one play touchdown against cover three. Like I said, and you can do this from any play in this formation. It doesn't really matter. And like the double outs, it works the same way. This is a concept that I put out last year. I'll have a link in the description for the original video that I put this out. But you can see, I mean, I honestly feel like this is why they don't let you pass lead in, in Madden 22 is because this particular series of plays works. As you can see, it's the exact same thing. So now we're back in Madden 22 again, and I know it, they all look the same. It's really hard to tell. You know what I'm saying? This is copy and paste uh, at its finest. But, I mean, it's, you know, it's it, we're, we're going to go back to the exact same series of plays. We already showed the PA tight end leak works. PA double outs will work the exact same way. It said this feature, I'll go ahead and run it like this. This feature was in Madden 21. Nope. It's not Madden 22. You can't pass lead outside from the pocket, which is why these cover three one play touchdowns really don't have a ton of success. What? Although there you can see we barely snuck it in, although the safety was coming in hot. So here's, you know, maybe this is a slightly better version. But you can see I can't pass lead away. It can only go straight up, which is nope. obviously leading to a lot of incomplete passes and a lot of interceptions. If you want to get that pass lead that's sorely needed to make these plays work with more success, you have to run outside the pocket big time. And then you can get a very easy uh, one-play touchdown. So if you're not using a Lamar Jackson or a Kyler Murray or um, you know any number of fast quarterbacks, this is not going to work. But you can see from inside the pocket, we're not getting any pass leads. That's the thing. I said, boom, pass lead. No, not really. We're getting something there. Like I said, you can see this. This is you know this variation is working slightly better than the PA tight end leak, but it's still not enough for my comfort level. I mean, I personally, you know, you could get that inside the pocket, but you get a much easier play if you get outside the pocket. Like it's a definite glitch to roll outside the pocket. It's not even really a glitch. It's something that you should be able to do. So we're going to do that one more time. Like I said, just fade that receiver. Going to roll out, get way outside the pocket, and now we can actually pass lead again. And that's what's missing. So if you've watched any of my cover through one play touchdown videos on next gen, and you're saying that they don't work on current gen, it's not because the play doesn't work. It's because pass leading doesn't work. So try it like this. Get outside the pocket, set your feet, and then pass leading will work again. As you can see right here, we're just getting we're getting back. You know, for whatever reason, you can't pass lead inside the pocket. I don't know why. You have to get outside of the pocket, and then you can pass lead again, and all the cover through one play touchdowns that you're seeing in my videos uh, will work again. It's really that simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there. If you guys wanna see more videos on current gen topics, do me a favor, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Much it out. Need more help or just wanna show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.